All right, guys, welcome back. And in this section, we're going to start working on the blackout refinement where we kind of tune in on a bit more details, but no, no major details. So uh, let's get right into it. So I want to start off with this area that we start off with in the blackout. And we want to get these nice little grooves. So if I toggle off the bodies, you'll see these grooves that we have on here. And this is uh, really simple to do. And what I'll do is just um, create a sketch. Select the 2D background, and I'll use the two-point rectangle tool. Remember the hotkey is R, or you can go to the Create drop-down and go to Rectangle, two-point rectangle, and I just want to outline this. So it's about here. And what I'll do now is left-click to select the profile, right-click, press Pull, but before I start pulling it, I want to toggle back on the bodies. So now I have a point of reference when I start to pull this out to see how far I should go. And I'll pull this out just extending beyond the body. And I'll change the direction from one side to two sides so I can grab this secondary arrow and start to adjust this to extrude slightly through the, the body. And this looks good here. So what I'll do is change this from cut to new body. Hit OK. And I just want to draft this off a bit. So I'll go to modify draft. Select this front face here. And then I'll select this under face secondly. So I can go to the top view and grab the widget and kind of offset this. And once I'm satisfied, I'll just... Hit OK. And what I want to do is um, adjust this to be to uh, match the same direction as the actual drill. So I'll select this body, right click, go to move, and I'll just adjust this to face upwards. And I can pull it down as well. Now I'll hit OK. Now I just want to pattern this around, so I'll go to Create, select Pattern, Circular Pattern, and ensure the type is set to Bodies, and if it isn't, just choose Bodies, and for the object will be this newly created body, which is Body 10, and for the axes, I can choose any ring, so I'll choose this one, and I'll change the quantity from 3 to something like 10 or 11. 11 might be a better fit, so I'll press OK. Now I just want to combine these so I can cut this to create a Boolean. So I'll go to Modify, Combine. I'll select this main body here. And secondly, I'll select 10, which is this first um, cut here, this first body. So I'll choose 10 for the tool bodies, and I'll hold Shift and select Body 20 which will inadvertently select all the ones underneath. So I'll change the operation from join to cut. Then I'll go to OK. Now I have that nice cutout shape. And we're not going to worry about um, the smoothness just yet because we'll add um, some details once we hit to the detail section. All right, guys. So since we have this um, pattern cutout shapes here, we'll move forward to doing the threads here. And we'll just basically um, follow that same routine. So I'll create a sketch, select the 2D plane or background. And for this, I'll, I'll use the line tool and I'll toggle off the bodies so I can see it a bit better. And I'll choose here to about here. Hit okay. Go to finish sketch. And I want to create a pipe. So I'll hit the Create drop down, go to Pipe, select this line, and I'll need to toggle back on the body so I can see it. And I'll rotate around so I can see the size of the pipe, and I just want to make it to a size close enough to still capture that detail. And change the operation from Cut to New Body, hit OK. And now we can't see it through this body, so what I'll do is select the body in the body's layer, right click on it, go to Move. And we just want to move this out so it matches 
the reference. We'll do some cuts around here. Let's ensure this lines up the way we want it to. It lines up pretty good, so let's hit OK. Now we want to create a pattern for this. So the last body we have right now is body 21. So what I'll do is go create pattern, circular pattern, ensure the type is set to bodies, and the object will be this pipe, which is body 21. The axes will be any of these rings, literally any of these rings. So we'll choose this one. Now we have to change the count to a, a lot larger quantity. So let's see how 33 looks. So we need about double. So let's try 66. That looks like a fair amount. So let's hit OK. And now we need to combine this. So we'll go to Modify, Combine, select the main body, which is this one. And the first body, which is body 21, right? And then we'll shift select the last one at the bottom. And now that they're red, we know it's on cut and ensure it's on cut. We'll hit okay. So now we have that detail patterned around. So now uh, I think this is a good place to end this video and we'll move forward in the next one.